Have you ever heard of the Westinghouse Atom Smasher? Well, I heard of it because I've seen pictures of it online and I've seen some aerial footage of it. And when I found out that this item is located just on the outskirts of Pittsburgh, I knew that I need to come see for myself and to share it with you guys. So behind me here, I present to you the Westinghouse Atom Smasher. If you want to learn more about it, all you need to do is come along with me. So I'm going to share some links down below in the description. But briefly to explain what it is, it says the Westinghouse Atom Smasher was a 5 MeV Van de Graaff electrostatic nuclear accelerator operated by the Westinghouse Electric Corporation at their research laboratories in Forest Hills, Pennsylvania. It was instrumental in the development and practical applications of nuclear science for energy production. There's also a historical placard here which states the world's first industrial Van de Graaff generator was created by the Westinghouse Research Labs in 1937 as an early experiment with atomic energy. The five-story pear-shaped structure is located here and the company remained active in establishing U.S. leadership in nuclear power. So we do have to stay behind the fence here, but we can still get a good look at it. Now, not sure about you, but when I hear the words nuclear accelerator, first thing that comes to mind is the movie Ghostbusters because they state that they're wearing nuclear accelerators. Otherwise, they're known as their proton packs on their back. Now, one thing I want you to do is, as you may be able to see or hear, Matt from Rail Flight is flying his drone in there to get some aerial footage up close shots. Check out his channel, specifically his video, to see up close personal detailed shots because we have to stay behind the fence, but the drone doesn't have to. You can see there is some barbed wire fence here. It's also located near a residential area, and I'm pretty certain this area is watched, so they don't want you climbing the fence going in there but you are welcome to come here and check it out for yourself. But what do you guys see when you see that? I mean, to me, it looks like, looks like three different things. It looks like a giant light bulb, a giant pear, or even like a giant bomb, like an atom bomb. I guess it's all in the eye of the beholder. You can see the giant W there as well for the Westinghouse. And it's just so abnormal looking. I mean, it's not like something you would see anywhere else other than here it's just almost hard to believe what you're looking at it looks like a prop from a movie or like a, a dummy prop for like a backdrop or something like that I don't know it's hard to put it into words but it just doesn't seem real it doesn't look like a real object it looks like it's inanimate it looks like it's fic you know fictitious fictitious you know you know what I'm trying to say it just looks like it's made up but it actually was something important now there is a lot more information that you can learn about this. As mentioned, I did provide some links down below which will help guide you in the right direction. This wasn't a planned location for us for our trip out here to Pittsburgh. But since we realized it's just on the outskirts of Pittsburgh, we took the drive out here to see it for ourselves and to share it with you. So all I can ask you to do is if you want to uh, learn more is do your own research. That's part of the fun of learning more about these things, which I'm going to do myself. But this is a pretty impressive site. And, uh, not sure if I was ever going to see it in person because each time I've come to Pittsburgh, I've always come by train and it's kind of limited to where I could get to with public transportation. But with Matt driving this time, it was a 20 minute drive and we're able to come here and see it. And I'm looking forward to his drone footage because it's going to give us some views and sights that we can't get out here. I also don't know what this property or facility used to be. I can see foundations some walls back there so I, I'll try to put it on the screen if I can find out I'm not sure if this was always here or if it was just placed here I walked farther down the property saw this private property authorized parking only with the locked gate here but over here is a really faded sign and it may confirm my questions earlier that this was the Westinghouse facility it says Westinghouse has the W logo and it has Forest Hills on it and everything else is kind of faded, but I think this was the actual facility where this was located and it's still here in its resting place. Now there is a, another gate here, a sliding gate, an electric gate with a for sale sign on it. So I guess 
jokingly, if you were to buy this property, you would acquire a Westinghouse Atom Smasher. That could be the uh, big selling feature. But if you've seen it in person, or if you know more about it, you're welcome to share it with myself and others in the comment section. Otherwise, hope you enjoy this short video of the five-story, impressive Westinghouse Atom Smasher. Glad I got to see it. Glad I got to share it with you. Thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video.